<laughs> so hey everybody Kirk here um, doing a little different video today um, I was actually tagged by a uh, channel that I watch called uh, my slice of heaven outdoors um, the guy's name is Joey um, I'm sure a lot of you who are watching this video probably already watched that channel but if not check it out it's a good channel Joey's cool guy seems like a super nice down-to-earth dude but uh, anyway he owns his own business uh, doing landscaping and uh, I too own my own business doing electric work for the last 11 years and he did a video about um, funny stories that happened to him on the job so I'm heading home right now but uh, I gotta be doing some if I'm talking to the camera, otherwise I feel like a moron. But uh more so than usual. But anyway, he tagged me to do the same type of video. Funny stories that have happened to me while doing my job. So I thought about so it. I gotta try to find uh stories that are clean. I don't wanna offend anybody. So there's a lot of feelings out there nowadays. Everybody's got a lot of feelings. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Uh, you know, I work with a bunch of guys in the trades and stuff, so we have a different sense of humor. So I want to kind of keep it clean. And uh, a lot of my stories, unless you're an electrician, and in particular who owns their own business, it probably wouldn't make sense to be that funny. So I found a couple stories that I thought I would share. And uh, one of them was, I was working for this, this lady who was in her 70s. And uh, we had to do, um, we had to hook up a hot tub for her. And also we had to do some odds and ends, little remodel projects and stuff at her house. And they were, they took place everywhere in her house. Uh, her living room, her kitchen, her dining room, her bedroom. And there was two of us and one, one of my workers who, a young guy, and uh, we had free range of her whole house, and she didn't have the door closed. And I walk into her master bedroom, and there she is, uh, getting dressed. And she just had her underwear on, just her panties and bra. And she was 70. So that was super awkward. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. But, uh, so that was one kind of funny story. And then another one was, I uh, was working for this lady recently, and... We, we were doing a restoration project. Her, her house got flooded. I'm never going to get a left turn here. She had some water damage. And uh, so we're working on her house and we're finishing up. And we, we got about an hour left. And she comes down and she was checking everything out. And she says, uh, hey, can you guys help me move something? And we're like, I was like, yeah, sure. We can help you out. No big deal. And what do you got? So we go upstairs and she had a... Uh, a bed for us to move now I've ran into this before where I had to move people's furniture which should have been moved in the first place because I'm not you know you should move the stuff out of your out of our way when a worker comes to your house FYI and uh, one time I tore this guy's linoleum moving his fridge and uh, then I had to end up paying for it which it wasn't even worth doing the job after I paid for his linoleum floor but anyway, so we go up there and I had to move her bed. You know, beds are flimsy and stuff. You know, when you're, you're pushing on them, you, can, you could easily break a bed because they're flimsy on the corners and whatnot. So, you know, I was a little, little sketched out to, to move her, her bed. But anyway, yeah, I moved it. I pushed, she wanted it pushed against her wall, just like a foot and a half. So we pushed her bed a foot and a half against her wall. Then she's like, can you move my other bed to my master bedroom? I'm like, sure, yeah, we can do that. Okay, so she, we moved her other bed about three feet to the middle of the room. So we get that done. Then she's like, can you move my other bed in my other bedroom? And these are all like queen and king size beds. I'm like, yeah, okay, okay, we'll, we'll move that bed, yep. So we go over there, and that one had a mattress in the way, an old mattress that we had to move the mattress before we moved the bed against the wall. And then to move the bed against the wall, once we moved the mattress, there was a bunch of furniture, so you couldn't get beside the bed to push it. So then we had to move all the furniture out of the way. 
So we do that, and now I'm like, okay, we're done. Then she's like, can you move this dresser over into my bedroom? Like a big dresser, like a solid oak. I don't know, it looked heavy. And I'm like, yeah, no, we, we can't do that. No, we're, we're just doing the electrical work today. It was kind of funny. Keep on, I mean, I don't, <laughs> given it, she was taking a mile. Pretty soon I was gonna be grabbing a moving truck and unpacking everything. So anyway, we got out of there. We just had to move three beds. And uh, another recent one, which I don't know if it's funny more, more than me just bitching, but uh, I worked for a contractor and I've worked with him in the past and he takes a long time on his houses. Now we were roughing in, which is just pulling the wire and, and wiring the house, but not putting plugs and switches in. That happens after it's sheetrocked and painted and everything. So this was the initial part where you go into the house and actually run the wire. He, um, wanted to finish off the basement. So he had to frame that up. So we got done and I said, yeah, we'll just get a hold of me when it's framed up. So like six months go by and he gets a hold of me and he's like, hey, can you put me on the schedule to frame up your basement? I said, sure. So then when we go to do it on the date that we, you know, had planned, it wasn't ready. It was like half framed. So we just left because like I said, I worked with this guy in the past. A year goes by, almost a year, about 10 months. And I hadn't heard from the guy. And I see him at Menards. So I stop and I say hi. And he's like, hey, I was just going to call you. I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah, yeah. Um, he's like, when can I get on your schedule to finish up that basement? And I'm like, well, I'm two weeks out right now. And he's like, oh, really? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, well, you're really going to hold up sheetrock. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, you're really holding up the project if you can't get here, I mean, this week. And I'm like, hey, Man, it's been almost a year since I've talked to you. Are you kidding me right now? I thought he was joking. And he wasn't. Well, I, I let it be know that it will be two weeks before I get there, right? So two weeks go by, and like I say, I have worked with this guy before. I never even called him, and he never called me. Another two weeks go by, and he calls me. And he's like, hey, can I get on your schedule? I'm like, sure. I said, uh, when do you need it by? Or when do you want to get this basement done? And he's like, well, as soon as possible. I'm like, well, is it ready now? And he's like, well, no. And I'm like, well, when is it going to be ready? I need it 100% done before I come back. And he's like, well, why don't you put me on my, your schedule for two weeks? So we put him on the schedule, and it was ready after two yeah. weeks. But I couldn't believe that. After almost a year, this guy's like, yeah, you're really holding up the project. Okay, sure. And then I, I, got, I got to tell you one, one other story, and this, is, this isn't really that funny. It's just me bitching and not understanding other people. And uh, so I did this remodel project for this customer who wanted their bath fans changed out uh, to nicer bath fans. They wanted really quality bath fans. So I got them pretty much the best bath fan money can buy which is a panasonic whisper green bath fan. bath fans are not fun project to take out and and put in you know you're, you're in the attic and you there's that whole thing and it was in the summertime so it's not my my favorite project so we took out their old bath fan we put in these new awesome whisper green panasonic bath fans these things are awesome you can barely even hear that they're they're on and they and they're powerful great fan I get done, and mind you, I've talked to the the wife, um, the homeowner, the, the wife, and she was nice. I had been dealing with her the entire time, um, but I did meet the husband one time. We, we said hi, shook my hand, and then he went back in the in the bedroom. He was doing work at his house or something. So um, anyway, I get the project done. Next day, I get a text, and it was like a nasty text. It was like. We would like you to come back and replace these bath fans with ones that turn on as soon as you hit the switch on, like every other bath fan I've ever seen. I don't know why you would put these bath fans in somebody's house. Um, let us know when you can be here. And I actually had saved the text it's for a while because it was I would show my buddies and stuff. I'm like, who is this guy? I met this guy one time, and he's treating me like... I don't know, not like a equal. And so I texted him back. I'm like, 
Well, you got to wait for the fan to ramp up. It takes a little while, but then it'll be on. And uh, they're very quiet, so you really got to listen for it, you know. Well, he texted me back that he didn't like him. He wanted him replaced. Now, this is a over like a $300 fan and uh, plus my cost. And he wants me to come back, you know, at no charge, obviously. He's not going to expect to get to pay me again to replace a, f a fan again so this is a big deal in my world you know what i mean i'm going to come back and spend another half day with uh, another one of my guys and replace a bat fan that i just did i don't have time for that i have to get everything done at a certain time because i got to go on to the next job so i contacted the actual contract he understood my my point of view i actually called the rep and had the panasonic rep call this homeowner and explain to them that this is the highest end fan bath fan that they pretty much make right now and that it does take about 10 seconds for the motor in it to ramp up to full speed and then it sucks air you know but i guess the point of this story is this guy did not like the fact that when he hit the switch this fan was not sucking instantly now, I could understand if it was a light. When you walk into a room, you hit the light, you expect it to go on because you need the light to see. But I don't think you need your bath fan instantly to come on to suck out moisture or smell. So it was like a, a couple week ordeal going back and forth with the owner and uh, talking to the Panasonic rep and me trying to get out of uh, wasting an entire day of labor. Because it'd be a half day for me and a half day for my, my, uh, the guy that I employ. In the end, I did not have to go back and replace that bath fan. But it just amazes me what uh, some people can, can complain about, I guess. So there's a couple stories of what have, has happened to me on the jobs um, since I've been doing this. Um, if I think of any really good ones, I'll, I'll have to do another video. But... Uh, that's all I can think of right now.